hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a bit of a talky kind of video just like a little chatty video i don't really know like i just want to talk to you guys i want to talk to you guys to, so you guys can get to know me a bit more um i've got a lot of things that i kind of want to share um about why i started youtube and um i want to talk about like endometriosis i want to talk about uh, mental health and stuff like that so it's going to be a little bit of a talky video so first things first i want to talk to you about um why i started youtube and basically i started youtube um recently because i wanted to kind of hold myself accountable for my journey so i'm basically on a um journey of like changing my life around um manifesting my dream life like setting boundaries just doing things better um i've struggled a lot in the past with um certain things in my life and i suffer from mental health as well so like um sometimes i can get into like a rut and i was in like a pretty bad place um not too long ago actually to be honest with you um it was kind of like going on for a while and it just kind of got to the point where i thought like i need to make a change so um yeah i wanted to kind of like get into a little bit more detail about it because i think that it's important to talk about these things and i think it's important to share like um the days that you're not so good as well um i want my channel to be as real as possible because some days are not like that and some days we get stressed and we have things going on and we don't really feel like doing things and that's okay because we're human and i just wanted to anyone out there to know that you're not alone if you feel like that and that it's totally normal and to make sure that you take time for yourself and to do things for yourself so i wanted to also share with you some tips and stuff that i have to help with like um, mental health and depression and um, anxiety and even if you don't even have those kind of things even if you're just having like a bad day and you don't have the motivation i just wanted to give some tips on things that have helped me and um kind of like to share with you guys um a little bit of a story time and where i had been and where i'm kind of at now and where i'm planning on going from here so yeah growing up i had a really loving family let's start off with that my mom um my sister my brother and stuff like we all very very close family and my mum literally and me are like best friends we're like literally best friends and um i had a really good like upbringing with my family and stuff um but when i was younger i got bullied in school so it all kind of stemmed from there was the bullying from school and it kind of started from primary school and then to secondary school and um sometimes i think people forget that like things that you can do to people when, when they're younger can also travel with them in their adulthood as well so sometimes when you're feeling a certain way about yourself which i kind of learned is sometimes because of a past trauma that is still kind of in the back of your mind simultaneously like you don't f you don't realize it but it is and with me that was the case and it took me like till i'm 29 now and to this day i still struggle with um certain things like um confidence issues body issues body confidence stuff like that and i've got a lot lot better but um it all kind of stems from like a child being being bullied in school because um when you obviously go through that in school like for me it wasn't just like oh like a little bit of name calling for me it was literally like the name calling it was the physical abuse it was the um taking my lunch money taking my food like i was literally i hated school and i couldn't wait to leave. i don't i didn't even finish like school because it was that bad like i would cry every single day because i didn't want to go and my mum like would be like she would be like you don't have to go like she would never force me to go not because i didn't need an education but because she cared about me and she knew what was going on and she felt like she felt like um it was hard for her because there was nothing she could physically do about it in terms of like yeah okay take me up another school but kids are kids and these things probably happen elsewhere anyway 
I was quite a chubby child in school, I must admit, a very chubby child in school, yeah. So I used to get called all named under the sun, like you can probably imagine. And I just never used to eat lunch at school. Like I would, I would not eat at all at school. I'd come home and I'd literally binge eat, binge eat, binge eat. So that was just making things worse because even though I was like not eating all day, I'd come home and I would definitely make up for that day of not having food. And that would be an ongoing pattern throughout my whole school life. So sometimes like I was at school and I had PE and I never did it because I, like was too insecure and I was too upset to try and do it because I used to get like called names and stuff so I'd literally every single PE lesson I'd have a sick note and my mum would sign it for me because she's not going to put her child through that kind of trauma knowing that these things are going on going to the head teacher doing all these things and nothing really changed it's like kids are kids kind of thing and um my mum just said like she's not doing it and that was that kind of thing um and it's kind of funny yeah, because we got a letter the other day um my mom we, my sister was cleaning out her drawers in her room and she found this letter from my school that my school had sent to me to my mum <clears throat> oh, from my throat and it um was like you know i think that your child would really benefit from physical education and they said something or the other um <laughs> they said something or the other in the letter and i was like can they even say that like basically what they're trying to say is that your kid needs to go do PE so she can lose a bit of weight and I was just thinking like it was looking back at it like the other day it was funny because obviously I'm older now and stuff and it's looking back it was funny but I thought can they even say that and it was just yeah my sister and me were just literally in, in stitches about it within this last year I would say um solidly I've become a lot more better at dealing with things I've become a lot more better at like um how I am with myself and um not being so hard on myself like I made a lot of mistakes um I turned to like drinking a lot and um I wouldn't say it in like I wasn't like an alcoholic but I was I was binge drinking and that was all up until um this year so within the last couple of months I had stopped and um it was just tearing me down it was ruining my relationships with people it was ruining like um, relationship with myself it was making me really depressed it wasn't helping my anxiety it wasn't helping like my mental health um I wasn't seeing my friends I wasn't like spending time with my family um like relationships with like my partner and stuff it was all just going to shit basically because of that because of the drinking because I didn't I wasn't in a good place I wasn't happy in myself and I was very in denial as well like I didn't um it was like oh but I'm doing it because of this. Oh, but it's this person's fault. Oh, but this person done this to me. Oh, but da 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 da. And it was always a but, but, but. And like, it was only within this last couple of months that I realised, and it's like, you hit rock bottom. You hit rock bottom, you think to yourself, I don't want to live like this anymore. I physically can't live like this anymore. Like, you get to that point where it's like, I physically do not want to be like this. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to wake up in the morning with anxiety because I've drunk like three bottles of wine and I feel like shit and I've lost my phone and I had an argument with somebody and it's all tits up do you know what I mean and um that was just literally the ongoing pattern for me like for years and years it was the same thing it was the same pattern over and over again and then one week I wouldn't drink and I'd feel great and I'd be like yay like I'm having a great day and then I'd be like going out with my friends yeah let's go clubbing let's go and have a drink then the shit would happen again and each time I did it something worse would happen and I knew that I needed to stop I knew that this wasn't for me I knew that this didn't agree with me it didn't agree with my body it didn't it wasn't helping my health either like having endometriosis and stuff um which I want to get into that a bit more but I think I'll leave that to a separate video it was affecting you know my health I was getting more flare-ups it's it wasn't good for me and like um I was constantly feeling ill and um it just wasn't it just wasn't it and it took me a very long time to actually realize that this is it this needs to stop and i said it so many times um my mom and my family you know gave me chance after chance after chance and believed in me time after time after time again to the point where they just gave up but my mom when i say gave up my mom would always still be there for me but she had just had enough, like because of me always continuously saying like, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna do this anymore. And then continuing to make the same mistakes like weeks or months down the line. So yeah, got to that point now. And this is why I'm documenting it. And this is why I'm talking about it because 
I feel like it takes a lot to speak about these things, especially on camera to those people that I don't know. And I think it's important because I just think that there's so much people out there that go through this and that, that are struggling and even probably in worse situations than, than I am. Um, people that might not even have support and stuff. And I just want you guys to know that you can make a change and you can do it. And sometimes it will take several, several attempts before you get to that point of saying, I physically cannot live like this anymore. Um, you know, I love my mum, I love my little sister. Like my little sister is 18 now. And I feel like I've missed so much of um, her, her growing up because of me just being very selfish and just doing the shit that I shouldn't have been doing and like not being that big sister that I should have been. But obviously I won't beat myself up about it. It's about making change and kind of like just acknowledging it is a first step and then making that change and and sticking to it and you know you have to really want to do it and before I would say these things like I wanted to do it but deep down I knew that I wasn't ready like I still went out and still felt like I wanted to have a drink with my friends and stuff and then I was lying about it like oh I didn't and I did and it was just an ongoing thing um but you know these things don't happen overnight it's not like you just wake up and like i'm going to change today it's like no it's a process where you know that this is what needs to happen you've accepted the situation you know that it's going to be a journey it's going to be a process and it's also going to be a journey in gaining that trust from your family your friends your partner and whatever again it is going to take time but eventually your family and your friends will realize that this time around you've done it, you're doing it, because it will get to that stage where it's been six months, it's been a year, it's been two years. And, you know, you feel so much better in yourself. And, you know, like, just for me, I, I am so much better when I'm by myself as well. I'm so much better when I'm single, when I'm just focused on myself, when I'm just like around my family and stuff. Like, that's when I do my best. That's when I do the most work. I do like all the things I want to do relationships and like hanging around with the wrong people and stuff is when I just put all that stuff aside and I'm only solely focused on doing something with this person, going out with this person, da 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 da, da. and all my goals and all my um plans just go brush get brushed under the carpet and forgotten about until I hit that point where something happens and I'm like I just changed my life and then I go over and over again. So that is just what I wanted to talk about. And I'm just not that person anymore. And I know my worth, I know what kind of person I am mainly to, you know, live that life that I've always dreamt of, to have the things I've always dreamt of, to have that dream career, that dream car, that dream house, like that dream family. And the only way to get those things is first by making a change within yourself, like learning to love yourself. You have to love yourself first. You have to love the surroundings that you're in. You have to love the person you are before you can really and truly love somebody else, before you can do things for other people. You need to have your life together. And that's just something that I've, it's taken me a long time to learn, but finally I have. Nothing's really easy. Like, you know, you have to, you're gonna have hard times. You're gonna probably have tears and stuff as well, but you can do it. Like if you really want to, and you really put your mind to it, you can do it. Like. We got this, we can do it. If any of you guys um, are going through anything that I've spoken about or anything in, at all, you know, you could reach out to me, like just drop me a message um, and we can talk and stuff. I think it'll be good to have like a little community where we can talk about things like this and just, you know, confining people. Sometimes I feel like it's good to talk to people that don't know you because they can't judge you. Whereas sometimes you talk to friends and family and they be like, yeah, but da da da. And sometimes you just need someone just to, to just to listen to you and just to kind of, you know, vent to. So I want this place to be a safe place. I want this channel to be somewhere where you feel safe and where you feel secure. And when you watch my videos, you feel happy as well. So I just want to kind of be as honest as I can on this channel and um, just let you guys know that this is a safe space like you can you can talk about anything you want in the comments you can literally like ask questions so i think the next video that i will do i will touch up a bit more on like um health issues especially endometriosis um because i 
suffer from that and I think obviously now it's becoming a bit more known in the industry like people are starting to talk about it a lot more um people you know on the news and stuff like that whereas a couple of like years ago it wasn't spoke about no one really knew about it um and I think especially for like um men as well it's good for them to know about these things because obviously if their partner goes through it or their family goes through it then they'll know and understand how to deal with it I've done a lot of research I've found ways to manage it a bit better and like um it's a lot easier for me to manage it and I've also changed my mindset and how I think about things and that really helps because it helps you to not it helps you not let it get you down in in like a sense um but yeah stretching definitely helps with that um and meditation reading is another really really good one i love reading because it helps to not only like open up your imagination but it helps to take your mind off of the negative things as well um so i like to do reading a lot as well but yeah that is pretty much what i wanted to mainly get out today i hope that this little talk has helped um you know anyone that might or needs to hear something today um if you're going through a bit of a bad day or if you're not you just want to watch it anyway because you know you just wanted to click on the video then thank you for listening thank you for watching um and like i said if there's anything that you guys want to talk about please do reach out to me please do message me and we can have a conversation together